that's back in Fort Worth that was uh, uh, once with us. And if you a brother that agree with them, and you feeling them for the moment, you better get the hell out of Dodge now. They messed up. Because we will tell you this day, the name of the Heavenly Father, the Invisible God, is indeed a Grand Makamar. That is his name. What you've seen our whole industry, our whole ministry, everything that we do, we've been able to cast out demons. Now, now, I, must, now, now I must say now that, that we don't know the seven heaven name. Uh, I mean, these are names that's up through the heavens. No it's saying, a heavenly name. No, right, you know what I'm saying? That's above us. You know what I'm saying? But we can get into it, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead and make your point. Right. It's heavenly names yeah, yeah. that we're telling you. Yeah, yeah make your point. That's given to men on earth, like Moses, the apostles. This is how you cast out demons. So starting with the Most High, Grandma Kamar, that is indeed his name. All right. The Holy Spirit. His name is Barbara. The name of our Lord. Abarmento. Okay. That is his name. That is all of them. And yes, when you've seen our ministry how we have been able to defeat all evil All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Wahawakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rechakwadash. That is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. And you just saw those video clips of the former head of GMS Mississippi. All right. He goes by the name of War. And as you saw in the first clip, he, you know told you know uh, you know the people all right that you know the names of Yahweh Shai Shai aren't the true names of the heavenly father okay and his son all right they're they're not teaching the things that they were taught all right you know and that's ultimately because the spirit has been stripped from them you know the Lord has stripped his spirit from them. And with that, he, he also has uh, taken, you know, their name, the names out of their mouths. Okay. All right. And that's scary because you saw in the second clip when he was in his right mind. How he was talking about Yahweh Bashim Shai. And that's all that we have, you know. And you see, that's why, you know, we got to. You know, one remain, you know, humble, meek, all right? And also, you know, pray to Yahweh Bashim Shai that the Spirit stays with us. That's why Apostle uh, Raqqa, in specific, emphasizes, you know, that we pray Psalms 51 and 11, you know, every day. And let me get it. All right, let's get it here. Uh, this is Psalms 51 and 11. It says, cast me not away from thy presence and take not... Thy Holy Spirit from me. You see? This is something that we should be praying daily. And that we should be asking the Lord, uh, uh, you know, daily. That he, that he stays with us. That His Spirit, you know, is within us. 
Okay? Because look, if it, if the Lord wants, he could send that um that strong delusion, all right? That strong delusion where you'll even believe that lie. Okay? Or is that second Thessalonians? I think it's second Thessalonians two and eleven. Yep, this is um Man, you know what? You know, you know, I'll read these two. This is Psalm or Salaki. This is Second Thessalonians two and eleven. And for this cause, the Most High sent, shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not. The truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And you see, since these guys have pleasured unrighteousness, the Lord sends a strong delusion that they that, that they all might be damned. Okay? Destroy. You know? That's scary. That's a scary thing. And like I said, these guys. You know, they, 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 um, you know, they hated order, reproof, rebuke, okay? You know, they, 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 their, their God was their belly. And the Lord gave them up to that. Now, now they're calling on these, you know, bogus names, okay? That no one's ever heard of. And saying that they, they, this is the true living power. And that's ultimately a the, the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Like I said, th th this is a uh, a friendly reminder of what the Lord can do to you. You know? Hey, remember, let me get this. Many are called and few are chosen. Okay? This is uh Matthew 22 and 14. For many are called but few are chosen. You know, there, there's a lot of people that have been called into this truth. And not all of them, all right, are going to, you know, cross the, you know, the finish line. That's why we got to continue to pray that the Lord, you know, uh, keeps that spirit on us. All right. Let me see if I can find this. Here we go. And actually, this is why the um why King David even mentioned this in the Psalms 51 and 11. This is here in um 1 Samuel 16 and 14. But the spirit of the Lord Yahweh departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord Yahweh troubled him. You see? At, at, at a point in time. You know, King Saul had the spirit on him. He was actually among the prophets, okay? I forget exactly where it's at, but it talks about how, um, you know, he, he was amongst the prophets. And I remember the, uh, uh, the townspeople, you know, said that. I forget where it's at exactly, all right? You know, he, he was amongst them. Hey, but then they, the Lord stripped that spirit, that evil spirit entered. Then what happened? He became rebellious, covetous, all right, hard-hearted, and then we we know what happened ultimately to King Saul. He fell, okay. You know, and that's what's going to happen to anybody that comes up. You know, against this truth. All right, but we're hoping we're not a part of that. Um. That uh, group, we're hoping that we're a part of the, you know, the vessels of honor, as the scriptures talk about in the book of Romans. All right. You see. You know, and. And, and, and this is why you, you just got to, you know, remain humble and. 
and, and stay, you know, and, uh, meek in this thing. Why are earth and ashes proud? You know, the Lord could do anything to you. Hey, just be uh, grateful and thankful that the Lord has revealed his secrets unto you. And continue to push as hard as you can. All right? And don't get, you know, high-minded. All right? Don't be unthankful. Don't be proud. Basically, don't be uh, like that, uh, that. I think it's the uh, First Timothy, you know, where it talks about these things. You see? But, um, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, I just wanted to uh, show those two clips because, you know, it's it's a very scary thing. The Lord can have you in, in the right spirit for, a, you know, for, for a moment. And then the next, you know, you're a bug out. Okay? All right, but, um, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and the Bible Ball.